Hey guys, it is February 16th. I am cycle day 14 and it is probably about 1130 in the morning. Um, we just went to drop off our um, tank at the hospital, tank, sperm tank, um, at the hospital because they have to wash it and all that good stuff. What are you doing? They already <laughs> seen those. I cannot stand her. Really? That only knows. Oh, God. She's having her mommy moment, guys. I'll, I'll just let her. No, you have to put them where they can see him. How you yelled Get at around. me. Get around. Get in front of your damn face! Is that what you said to me? Be nice to your baby mom, son. Okay. These are um, Ralph Lauren and the pink ones were too. But anywho, um... So I just dropped our baby off and getting all washed up. Um, he, the guy, or the lab tech, shall I say, when he took the specimen out of um, the tank, he was like, this is a lot of sperm. The whole vial was almost full, um, which is good because it was ICI ready, but they just have to wash it again so that it can be ready. Did they say he has some babies already or not? Yes, he has his own. But I think he's too new of a donor from the VIP list. That he doesn't have any through the um, what? through the bank. Shush up. So um, he, we went with the donor that has a sperm don't count. Don't stop the video talking back. Of um, mm-hmm. no, don't mess up the room. There. Yes, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so I'm just gonna start saying there. Anyways, um, we went with the sperm donor. They had a higher. <coughs> excuse me, sperm count than last time because it was really low after the washing. So, um, we tried the one, he's 96 million, but they couldn't find any vials that were 96 million when I picked it up. So, it was 84.6 million. That's 96 million, me. Same thing. It's just as high. But, um, so yeah, so, he, I don't know if we should... I guess it really doesn't matter. Our, the donor we were going to go with end up having problems with one of his children. Um, and I just didn't want to take the risk um, of my child having it because it was a 50-50 chance. And that's, I don't know, you know, I didn't do any research on the disease or anything like that. But I just don't, period, want to even risk it. So I left that donor alone. Um, but this donor, or that donor was Native American. And... Um, can't show them anything. Why? Because I don't know where no clothes are at. Oh, the clothes are all boxed up still. Yeah, I know. Germany's clothes are in the, uh, drawers, though. Those girl clothes? Uh-huh. Those juicy couture outfits? Oh, no, those are in the box. Exactly. Look at your arm. But... Wes. Yeah, these are for her little dresses, my boy. Oh, no. I think we got those for, like, three ninety nine from Target. You know what these are? These are little Ralph Lauren boots. No, they're not Uggs, but... <coughs> She'll have some. We will find them on sale, bro. Anywho, they're both they both trying to do a little update. Pink. We was prepared, boy or girl. I see. Those are all my doors. These is like a powder pink. This could be for a shoes. girl. This is versatile. Those are cool. But you know, if it's a girl or a boy, they're going to wear Jordans. I don't care. Okay, thank you. These are icy though, huh? They want to hear about the update. Do y'all want to hear about the update? They, they want to hear what our donors make shoes. Sense. Are we going to tell them? No. Nah. Why? Uh, I don't give a damn. I'm telling them. I'm going to lie to my child and tell her that she's Af- Native American and African American her whole life. I'm never going to tell her the truth. My boobs are I don't give a that way. darn what y'all think. And they're not. So you're going to lie to her? Mm-hmm. Or him? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, our donor is, I can't probably pronounce it right. Don't say it! I don't okay. want to say it. I'll tell you guys after. She wears this hat in every video, though. I like this hat. It covers my hair. Do right? y'all see this bracelet? This bracelet is for you. Oh, um, yeah. So if you would have let me do my update. So I dropped the tank off, and he, the guy said that... Uh, the oh, lab there's tech, a dog. There's a dog. She left yeah, her shoes. The lab tech said that um, that, that hopefully the recovery is at least $40 million, Um That he's thinking at least half should um, come back. Because the vial is about this big. And about this much of it was full of sperm. So it was packed. Like, he thought it right there while I was standing there. And then they give you this bracelet. I think I described it to you guys in the last video. Uh, I'm pushing it the wrong way. But um, this is the bracelet that just identifies. What does it have on it? Oh, my health record number. Oh, no. 
But anywho, um, it has the time of my appointment on it too. You ever see much. that? See what mom's talking about. Nope. Can't Look and see what mom's talking about. There's too many girls in this fucking house. It's a girl dog. Okay. Anywho, it's eleven o'clock. Dropped it off. Got to be back at twelve thirty. I got this bracelet. The sperm <laughs> also has a bracelet on it, which is my baby. <laughs> Hi, animal. Hi, animal. So this, on her. yeah, this Lay on mom is she's just pregnant. way different because Annalisa yeah. acting crazy. But um, I'll try to see if I can just pause this move, Barbie. Get out of my face. See if I can pause this. And um, just finish the update at the hospital while they're doing the IUI. Mind you, I had a hell of a time carrying that damn sperm tank. And Alyssa stayed here because she got to go to work in a minute. So she stayed here. I took the sperm by myself and had to carry it. I thought the doors, the front doors to the hospital were open. No, it's a Saturday. So I had to go all the way around by ultrasounds like a mile, you guys. Like, no joke. <laughs> You're acting like an animal. But anyways... So, so far so good. I took ovulation test yesterday and today. And the digital... I'm nervous. She ain't getting no sleep. Yeah, I did it. Yesterday or tonight. Or last night. I hope tonight I do. But anyways, yesterday, the ovulation test I took, I took a digital and I took one that we bought from the hospital last month. And the one from the hospital, I can't read those. I don't know how to read those. I don't know when I'm ovulating and I don't know. So, I gave up on that today. But the digital was a circle. So, I didn't have a smiley face. Um, but, my cervix is really soft. And I had like a glob like this. Like, no joke. Come out of cervical mucus. And it was, of course, I touched it. Yes, mine. Anyways, it was um, stretchy and it was clear. Um, it had a little bit of, it was a little bit of, um, like, what? not white. I don't know. Like, cloudy a little bit. But it was mainly clear. And it was so super stretchy. And that was yesterday. Um, so I don't know, you, love you, you know, what it means. I give up on ovulation on trying to figure out when I know. You better not give those to her. Oh, she loves these shoes. I know she loves oh, these shoes. She, she drags them. them through this damn house and it pisses eat me them, off. Eat them. You want them? No, mother. Yes, you do. So, anyways, um, I give up on trying to figure out ovulation. I just figure today's the day of the insemination. And so, we're going to inseminate and either... Um, Did, you know, in 14, no, okay. in 14 to 15 days, we'll figure out, you know, that we're pregnant. Yeah, that's what we're praying for. So, um, yeah, because I usually have a 15 to 16 day little phase. Is Tell them my obvious view. Yeah, someone called her from men's warehouse. Mm -hmm. Hang on, because she's trying to, of course, do her, her fitting for the wedding. It always turns into a wedding slash TTC vlog, huh? I know. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> trying to do her fitting for the wedding. And the girl calls. She's black. Marisol, what was it? <laughs> Mariposa. That's not a black person's name. <laughs> no, it's not. Marisol. What did she say her name was? Marquayla. Marquayla. That's what it was. <laughs> anyways, she's going to call. And she's talking to her. And then she says, your name sounds familiar. Like from Facebook. No, she said it looks familiar. Oh, like looks familiar. Like from Facebook. She didn't say MySpace. Or Downlink. Downlink, I would have smacked her. <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, so people think they know you. But they have no idea. They don't even see that. That's a hole punch. She swears. This is my weapon. Hole punch. I'm going to clock somebody in the head. So to get me. She, it punches for the transfers. And she swears if somebody gets on her bus, it's pretty heavy. She swears if somebody gets on her bus, she's going to punch him with that. <laughs> Whooping ass. Wham. I didn't know it had your ID number on it. Mm -hmm, VIP. Yeah. And I mean, then they carved a little heart for me on this side. Oh. So I got all the booze, don't I? What's your name? Yeah, with a heart. Shut up. Who did that? Andrew, one of the motherfuckers, one of my boyfriends. Oh, that is cute. I got lots of boyfriends. I get boyfriends everywhere I go. Oh my gosh. Tell she swears she has boyfriends. They Do I? want to be her boyfriend. Do I, though? Any boy that talks to you, you be like, yep, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, but do they like me, though? Tell the Some truth. Of, yes, the men do. Some of the men do like you. <laughs> but so what? Friend. It ain't all of them. We went to Costco the other night, and she was like, ooh, that's my boyfriend. Was he? Was he my boyfriend? <laughs> Tell the truth. Yes, he was your boyfriend, honey. Thank you. So, they about to say, what is really going on? Anyways, um, I just got done eating. I'm really nervous. I haven't taken my medicine this morning. <sighs> just don't know what to think. I really? thought that it was Imani. If that was Imani, she was killing it. It's Imani sitting here acting like he's playing the violin. No, this is the song that I was playing for 
my daughter plays the violin and they're sitting the same. But anyway, so um, I have my lesbian guide to pregnancy book. I'll be reading that after the IUI. I'm going to be laying in the bed for the rest of the day today. Let me show them how I have papers that are due um, for school. So I'll be just laying in bed today and tomorrow typing. Hold on. Come over here, baby. Becky wants to show you guys how well she plays the violin. Okay, here she goes. Let's see. Don't Wait, no. You can't see you because Wait a minute now. Me. Hang on. No, not one more second. No. Just turn it on. I'm Did it die? Ready? It died? All the way. Yes or no? It won't play at all. No, I gotta play it real life. No. Okay, you might just close it then. That's called Germany. Well, if you might tell this is called like that, Germany her play. Apprentice. No. <laughs> No, this goodbye. is for my future child. Oh, it goes. That was beautiful, honey. Thank you. It goes. Um. <coughs> how's my hula? I don't know. What's up? <laughs> when I made up about a baby. You didn't make up about a baby. Yes, I did. Well, I never heard it. It's called um something like that. Remember I said um can't wait to put a a name with a face. Oh. Remember that part. You don't remember the first part? Uh -uh. Alright, here we go. It's been a long time coming. Really? <laughs> and that's just the beginning. Keep going. Done. Really? I'll sing for them another day. Oh, my gosh. So, anyways, um, I'll be pausing this video and we will be coming back. Well, I will. Babe's going to work. I got to drop her off at work. Actually, so I can like, pay for this child right now. Drop her off so at work. I can work. buy this child some Zimmer stuff. Drop her off at work, Woo. and then <laughs> I'm going back to the doctor's appointment. I'm actually pretty tired. Like, I don't know. So, anyways, wish us luck. I pray this is it. I pray this is it. I'm sick of it. If it ain't, Jenny Rennie owed me about 110 pennies. <laughs> Oh God! But yeah. Today, God said Jenny Reddy is a little sinny sinny. Oh God! But yeah, it's on God's time. Like that's it, and that's all. So it's all about. He's teaching me to be patient, even Jesus when I'm very impatient. So. Let me sing a little church. All of you out there, don't give up! Don't give up! You see how long we've been trying? Just wait. We've been trying for. I think I read online, I mean, on, on my obvious view thing, we've had 18 cycles. And this is, yeah, this is cycle number 18 in the last um, two and a half years. And so, let me tell you something real quick. We haven't given up. Although sometimes I feel like giving up. And we wake up. <coughs> but I just, you know, we don't. Jesus give up. is on the main line. Tell him what you want. You better call him up. You tell them what you want right now. I can't stand her. Nope, I can't stand her. Woo, get in the church. Anyways, so. One Keisha, I know you know that song. You know every other song. Oh, right One Keisha loves you and you're crazy. Yes. Yeah, Shout out to you, boo. She's my best future. I friend. know. She's always there for us, supporting us. Let me sell her. Let me see. Sell her? Tell her. Tell her what? I want to show her something. Oh, God. Rose all of my neck. This is for Keisha. Oh God! For and one friendship bracelet. Oh gosh! One for you, one for me. Okay, these are friendship bracelets. She don't want you to send her one now. Oh shit! They made me cry. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! That kid is crazy all the time. I am. I'm gonna send her a friendship bracelet. She's okay. my best friend. She better wear it every time she watches my videos. Okay. So we will talk to you guys um, at the insemination. Talk to you soon. Hello? Bye. So, Tommy, your makeup looks really good here. Okay. Well, so I'm just touching. How come that's so sensitive? Is this the area that I'm touching? I think it's just me. I'm really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's the little catheter. You doing good? Yep. Okay.
So what are you blogging uh, how to get pregnant? Yeah, well, I'm trying to conceive. Um, we've been trying for two and a half years now. So. Oh, my God. Yeah. We've been doing home insemination, so this is only our second IUI. Oh, uh, okay. So. It was kind of hard. Um, I just found out I have PCOS. Yeah. So we weren't um, able to really pinpoint ovulation because of my hormones being kind of wacky. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of just showed different times of me ovulating and <laughs> the times are actually right. So she's doing the follicle scans or the trigger style? Yeah, I didn't do a trigger this month though. Okay. Because last month and then I did it in September, they never made me actually ovulate. Oh. Yeah. The trigger made you not ovulate? Well, I ovulated last month, three days later, or so five days after the trigger. Oh, okay. And then the month, the September, I did it, and I ovulated, oh, I don't even know, cycle day 40, I think it was, or something. Well, that couldn't be right. Yeah, I have a 62-day cycle that month. Yeah, then something was amiss. So you're spotting a little bit, that's why I was kind of holding it there. Sometimes you get a little blood vessel with the end of that catheter. So okay. it's not anything to be worried about, just to be prepared okay. for. So. All right, so one foot here, one foot here. So when you took the... Hey guys, so I am laying care, the insemination is now done. Uh, my doctor says she'll be back in, in 15 minutes. It's been about 7, about 15, so I should be back in any minute, um, or in a minute or so. But um, th I did have a little spotting, she said afterwards, and she said that's normal, so she, I guess, just cleaned it up with a, um, a long um, Q-tip, like, swab. Um, it took a little bit longer this time the insemination than usual, but um, or than the last time. But that was fine. And actually, my um, doctor that just inseminated me was the doctor that took care of me while I was pregnant. Was my OBGYN with is it all three? No. <coughs> Excuse me. With my two oldest children. So that's pretty cool because. Um, I know, I know her, you know, I was here for the whole nine months with each of my kids and throughout the birth, so that was really cool. Um, this is the mobile, mobile, can you see it, that I was talking about, the pregnant lady, and the three kids, uh -uh. I'm not really good with this, let's see, can you see it, I don't know, hopefully so, but, so I'm done. I'm laying here, um, my legs are up, and I am excited to go home so that I can lay down and I feel a little bit tired to, um, to sleep. And um, I used, before I came in, I used some free seed. I just went to the bathroom and then I put some free seed up there. Um, I don't know if it's going to help or not. I also read that you should start taking, eating the pineapple. You, um, after the insemination, and then the doctor also just um, told me to do acupuncture. So I'm going to see if I can get in with my acupuncturist this week um, as well. And the pineapple thing, um, I've heard different ways of doing it, but they said online that you just cut the whole pineapple up into five pieces, keeping the core in place, so then you just cut off the skin of it, and, and each day, so the first day, it depends on how you're actually, if you're IVF, IUI, or home insemination, they're all different of how you do it. Um, but because I'm doing IUI, I would start after the insemination. I cut the whole pineapple up into five pieces, keeping the core in place um, as I cut it. So cutting it, laying it this way. So laying the pineapple this way and cutting, you know, sideways that way, five pieces. And I would eat one chunk of it per day, eat the whole thing, the meat and the core. Um, so today would be day one until five days past the IUI. And then I would stop. So 
I plan on doing that. I bought a pineapple from Costco two days ago. So it's been sitting on my windowsill, hoping um, it's right by now. And I think that's about it. So I'm sad that my baby couldn't be here with me. I just dropped her off at work before I got here. But the praying this is it. So she can be with me at the ultrasounds and the heartbeat and all that stuff. Um, and we don't have to go through this anymore. So God willing, this will be it. Um, please continue to pray for us as we pray for you guys that are trying this well. Um, yeah, so I will be doing a possible two-week late update oh, as well. Um, I told you guys my class, um, well, it's not my whole class. There's a group, there's four of us in a group for my class, and we have to do a paper, and we're doing a paper on infertility. So we're going to come and do some YouTube videos here um, in the next few days. So probably like Wednesday or Friday of this coming week, we'll be coming to do some videos. I'll also let you guys know my test date. Oh, yeah, the sperm count was 39.6 million after the wash. 50% motility and 40%, 45% something else. I don't know. I haven't received the paper. She was just telling me before she did the insemination. Um, is that it? So that's pretty high. Um, it's almost 40 million um, to get up there and do what they need to do. Somebody needs to do something <laughs> out of all those little swimmers. So, um, yeah. I guess that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. Wish us well. Bye.